Presentations, recognition of school district retirees. Dr. Galicia. Yes, sir. Good evening, uh, board members, Superintendent Burns, and this evening, and to recognize our retirees. Um, I'm going to read a short script uh, on the resolution that's to be given to our retirees. So, whereas the Board of Trustees wishes to recognize the many years of service the retirees have given to the citizens of the Salina Union High School District. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Salina Union High School District Board of Trustees does hereby express its deep appreciation to the retirees for their contribution of, to education and extends them its best wishes for a well-earned and happy retirement. And be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution to be entered into official records of the Sanitarian High School District as of this date, May 23rd. So with that, I'm going to be calling <clears throat> one individual at a time, and the, um, as well as whether their uh, principal or supervisor will come up, and that principal or supervisor will then all their retiree, the uh, administrator would uh, speak a few words, per se a few words about the retiree. Then the retiree would come along with the family members that they wish and also speak on their behalf. Okay? So we'll start with uh, Ms. Gladys Odessa from Hardin Middle School to uh, recognize Sylvia Cortez as the retiree. I know. Um, but Ms. Cortez has been in our district for 15 years, uh, two terms. She started at El Salsal Middle School and then at Hardin Middle School. Uh, what I can say about Ms. Cortez is uh, she is a very genuine human being. Um, she truly is the kindest person I have met, mm. and she really cares about the kids. Whenever we had students that didn't have enough, and the families would come and say, I don't have enough, she would say, don't worry about it, we're going to figure it out. And she would figure it out. And when she left me, um, it was <laughs> really hard for me as the new principal, but I understood that it was time for her to move on, and since she's been gone, I have missed her. We have talked here and there. Um, she is a wonderful human being, and it was a loss to see her go, but also I know that she is on to better things, and she's doing kind, uh, acts of kindness in our community. She already caught me up, so I just wanted to present to you Miss Sylvia Cortez. Hector, maybe you can show what's in the bag. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
emocionado yo que ella. <risa> Washington Middle School is uh, Ms. Terry Lopez. She has two retirees. Uh, to first of all, Cindy Castro, and then to call Christopher Hunt. Cindy Castro is. Quite a journey, 33 years, three school districts, four schools, hundreds of co-workers, and over 4,000 students. I didn't take out the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier this week, I wrote to all my WMS colleagues, classified, certificated, and admin, to thank them for their time and support since I joined SUHSD in 2008. I first started teaching in 1990. I was in LA for eight years in Watsonville for 10 years. I give equal thanks to the families of my students here in the community of Salinas, some of you might be here right now, who have shown me overwhelming support over the years. I deeply appreciate that. Additional thanks goes out to all my family and friends, right here in the front row and maybe sprinkled out in other parts of the room. You know, still there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, now I lost my spot. Okay. 
second, <laughs> many of whom have been able to join us tonight. Special thanks goes out to my son Vincent and daughter Marina, who live in San Diego and Los Angeles, and so couldn't join us tonight. Most of all, thanks goes out to my loving wife Kathy, who has supported me through the thousands of hours of paper grading, <laughs> lesson planning, email writing, parent phone calls, and everything else that goes with the life of a teacher. And 17 years ago, she joined me on this path and became a teacher as well. Both of us are retiring next week. <laughs> Truly, I could not have done this without all of you. And I'm very grateful and thank God for putting all of you in my life. Now I'm getting a little <laughs> Good night. I was wondering why you were here. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, get in the picture. Or get next to her. It's my honor to honor Cheryl tonight. He was, uh, she retired last year from us as our principal secretary. Cheryl was in the St. Jude High School District for over 17 years. Wow. And for nearly a decade worked as the principal secretary at the Elfondry School. Lots of their assignments. And Cheryl was just a wonderful employee to have. She was someone who had no limits to her compassion. Any student that came to her, she would make sure she helped them. Any parent that had a concern, she would make them find the right, the right answer that, that uh, they needed to find. And um, because she had been there so long, and she went through, I think, five different administrations through the years. <laughs> and she was, the, she was the, the continuity in the school, and had that historical knowledge. And she was the one that we could go to, and I could go to my first year that if I needed to know where something was, who someone was, or who I needed to talk to to get something done, she was the one to make the difference. So it's been a, it's been a big loss. We missed her this year, and we hope she's having a better time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
covering for a secretary called Terry Passano. I uh, got a full-time position as an assistant uh, principal secretary um, for Jackie Axel, who has since retired. Um, and then I worked for Tim Schwartz, um, who was phenomenal, and he's now working in Stockton. Um, and then I worked for Mr. Karasani, probably the longest period of time he was my administrator, um, at North High and then at El Puente. Um, in between that, I worked for Yvonne Ricketts at um, Salinas High School, I mean, Salinas Adult School for one year before I came uh, to, from North High to El Puente. Um, and from El Puente, yes, I had Mr. Karasani, I had <coughs> Eric Del Sagas, I had Claudio Montero, um, actually, I forgot Barbara Lawrence of Animal, she was only there a month. Um, I <laughs> recorded as well to Gloria Chidas, and then I had Mr. Green. And the transfer of a lot of administrations is challenging to a school, to its parents, to its secretary, um, <laughs> and all the lovely people that I met along the way had a wonderful impact on me. I miss Dwarves Leslie, oh. Leslie O'Sullivan, um, I miss Frank Mesa, I miss Paul Cooper was the most recent oh, death, yeah. and that last one got prompted me to, can we do retirement? And when I ran the figures, and I could, it was like, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and so I knew that like in May, and I let him know in May. And then I said I'd hang on until July so that I could close up one year and get things going for the next year. Because as a principal secretary, that's what you want to do. You want to pass the baton on and have parents, students, teachers, and administration all have that continuity and, and hit the ground running. And that's what Mr. Green did. So um, I think I can't thank enough of the teachers that I've made friendships with, that um, I trust and love. I still get calls from parents because I was foolish enough to give out my home number <laughs> during COVID. And in fact, I had a call from a parent just yesterday. Um, <laughs> and so, but I thank you. Um, this has been a pleasure and a privilege to work as a secretary and get to meet so many people in our district. And although I know there are struggles in this district. I know that there are good people here that are going to make those struggles right. And so I, again, all I can say is thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And I love retirement. <laughs>
Uh, she's been a teacher for 30 years. 25 of those years have been in Salinas Union High School District. And when I came to Everett Alvarez, of course, um, Cheryl was there. And um, one of the things about um, Cheryl, she has a uh, background in law. So the students always found that absolutely fascinating. And she had very rich discussions in her classroom as she imparted her knowledge and answered their questions. Um, one of the things I loved is she said that as she moves forward in her life, she really still wants to uh, surround herself by the energy of students. So she's going to look forward to doing something like that. She's gonna to go to Washington. She's gonna be living by her brother. And she's going to continue the next part of her life in a really exciting way. Another little tip that I just want to say about Cheryl is like every student has been educated about Prince. Okay. Slide small of Prince in her classroom. So, okay. so they get a full history of, of Prince too, so they know um, a lot about Prince as well. And um, I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you, Miss Kathy. <laughs> and so congratulations. Thank you. Um, she, I also have to say that, you know, I've been through a lot of administrators as well, like we all have, and uh, Miss Kathy, um, as she's so um, affectionately known as by the students, Miss Kathy, um, she's, been, she's been very supportive of, of me, and I'm very appreciative of that. And I do have to say, because this is the last time I'm probably going to be in this boardroom, I started off at Washington Middle School and I graduated from North High. I had some of your children in my classroom, especially B. I went to school with B. So I have a rich history here and I was thinking the other day whilst driving my truck where it all started when I was a child, a very troubled child with a lot of terrible social emotional issues. And I'm ending with a career serving those students. And it just, it, it warms my heart. And I am so grateful that I had this opportunity of 30 years to be in this school district. My whole life has been in this school district. And I am honored and humbled that I've been here. And I thank you. She has runway model movements and physique. She's just dazzling, honestly. 
And she mostly taught 12th grade English, um, but she's an English teacher, and many of our graduates owe her a lot because she is a determined person that at that, those students that are maybe on the bubble, bubble with graduation, she helps get them through. Um, she's been a department chair, a course lead, a FASA, was our FAST Academy coordinator for a long time. She's been a teacher of the year, Rotary teacher of the year, Sunshine chair. She has a scholarship in her father's name that she gives to fundraises and gives to our um, a student every single year. So Martha Getras will be sorely missed at Salinas High School, and I will present this to her at our staff meeting um, so that she has that honor. All right, so Philip Deutschley, you want to come on up here? Not really. No. <laughs> known as Mr. Philip to the teachers, so I'll just call him Mr. Philip so you get a little bit more yeah. of that. So he's been at Salinas High School for 20 years, and what I would say is, you remember that commercial that used to be around, the most interesting man in the world? <laughs> That's him. He is a candidate for that role of being the most interesting man in the world. He has done so much in his life. He was in the Peace Corps. He taught, and I had to write this down because it's a lot, at, in Nepal, Botswana, the Navajo Nation, and Bolivia. Wow. And he's, cool. Dr. Galicia mentioned his walking tour that he's starting next week, but he's also an ultra marathoner. He participates in triathlons. I'm, he's never had a car. He rides his bike to school, and he's just an amazing man. Um, he is a physics, chemistry, and astronomy teacher at Slinis High. <laughs> he is, we have an observatory at our school. He has a uh, astronomy club. They go on fabulous field trips every year. He's just an amazing person. And he teaches at Hartnell College, and he's going to keep doing that. So if you're into astronomy, you can take this class still. Um, I think that probably gives them a clue as to why I say you're one of the most interesting men in the world, because for people in the world, because you just have done so many things all over the world. So we are going to miss you a great deal. Sanders here, and my running buddy, Rosser, who <laughs> also teaches at Park now, um, and I guess you should say thank you, but actually wearing the tie just shows how honored I am to be here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much. Oh, yes, and here is your resolution. Thank you. 
Uh, he's going to uh, recognize two of his uh, retirees. Uh, we have Tracy Esperanza and Alan Stewart. All right. And uh, I guess we'll Tracy and then we'll do it. Can I have some? Come on. All right. Okay. We're friends. We can share. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to start off with uh, Tracy Esperanza. Um, so she has uh, been working approximately about 18 years at Mission Trails RP as a vocational auto aid. And I want to say um, I only got to know her a little bit of time because I was coming in and uh, she was heading out, but she was really a guiding light to the students and through the years at Mission Trails and having her in that position and helping support the kids. She always sought to that the kids were doing the work and doing it well. And, but was also there for support, emotional support. And she loved to see where the kids were headed. And so she was always wanting to see the kids connect back into the ROP Center. And so we really appreciate all the years uh, that she provided at Mission Trails. And we really uh, look forward to um, continuing to come. Thank you. You're very welcome. So I will present the resolution. Thank you so much for all the years that you gave to us. Well, it is a real privilege to introduce Alan. Um, he has been in the district for 24 years, um, since 1999, February 2001. So. And then also he was at North Side and Southern High School during this time. Um, he was an educational counselor and a college and career counselor in the mid 2000s. He even coached tennis. Didn't know he likes tennis. But um, also just want to mention when I first met him, I was super tall. <laughs> it's so amazing that he has that height because he can really see out into the future and really guide the kids and where they need to go. He's always ready to get to work. He's always seen how best to support kids. And I can always go to him with that wisdom and knowledge that he has in terms of how things work, and so that store knowledge is really helpful in the way we run things and what we can continue to do, um, but he's always seeking to support kids and what's best for kids. And that is always great to see. He even supported a lot of the people who are coming into the college and uh, career readiness center, uh, supporting the staff there, but also supporting new college and career counselors. So he, he's done a fabulous job in that work, and so I really want to commend him for that work. So thank you. Thank you. I'm going to 
Thank you so much. Oh, for all your work. Yeah. Yeah. Very small. Okay. 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 Appreciate you guys very much. Great job. Yes. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank